Hi everyone, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. And um, today we're going to be doing these adorable cards um, that are for spring and Easter. And the awesome thing about these cards is that they're extremely easy to cut. Again, no glue. <laughs> you know how I feel about glue. They're, they're fun to um, play with, and this is a great project for perhaps for uh, grade school children who want to give a um, classroom card for right before spring break or the spring holidays, or perhaps at a church gathering. It's just really a fun little project that um, doesn't require a whole lot of um, advanced work. I want to mention the um, the images that I have re I have gotten these from came from a cartridge, an old cartridge, and I'm not sure if you're how new you are to Cricut and um, and the whole Cricut machine uh, community, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about what some of the terminology and it's sort of vestigial terminology if you would um that that cricket uses and um I, going back a couple of years when i was working with an expression and before that even cricket would come out with um these things called cartridges and the cartridges would be actually the boxes were actually bigger than this and um, you'd open it up and there would be this this is a cartridge okay most people uh, that are fairly new like the last couple of years don't they don't really understand what this is um, and that's okay but there were people that like me that made it their priority, their business, to collect these cartridges um, and use them for their machines. So when Cricut advanced and became really an online program that you use with your machine, and there was a time when you didn't use online, um, you didn't use design space, you used these cartridges to, to cut things out. But when they took it online back in, uh, I think it was like around 2004, 14 or 15 um, when they took it online they didn't want to uh, they didn't want to make people who have been collecting these all along have to just start over it's sort of like a, a CD collection you know you work so hard to collect all your favorite music on CD and then they come out with online music well it's the same sort of thing so when Cricut um, went online they still for a while produced these cartridges and you would get within the within the box you get this um, description on how to use it how to use the cartridge and sometimes you'd even get this which is an overlay okay um, but when they went online they basically credited everybody that had purchased all of these cartridges included me I had over a hundred cartridges um, and so they credited us or they gave us access to those so or we um, we uploaded them or get you know there, there's a there was a process so um, but the cool thing is that instead of just discontinuing the cartridge most of these cartridges were made available in design space not all of them but pretty much almost all of them and so if you made a purchase of something um, you didn't have to repurchase it that's the point that I'm trying to make and in this particular case um, for for this project which I will give you the um, design space file this is part of has be, it's been rolled into Cricut Access so I don't know about you, but to me, that means that um, these guys at Cricut are just fabulous at thinking about the... So let's have a look. Okay, so as I mentioned, um, there's a lot to discover about the, uh, the older artwork um, that is available 
on Cricut Access. And um, I wanted to, this is just one of the projects that I have done using um, an old cartridge. And I wanted to show you how you could go about finding this kind of um, content. So to, to start off with, let's go to images. I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so go over to images. And you see up here, as it works, you see up here where it says cartridges? All right, you're gonna go there. And I understand that, you know, this is can be a little overwhelming for some people. Um, but it, what I want to point out here is that every single cartridge, um, and again, cartridge is just an old school way of saying an image set, okay? But that's what they call it, a cartridge. Um, they're, they're part of a grouping of images. Um, it goes back to the idea that you would buy a cartridge, install it into your machine. Um, so what they've done is they've rendered this artwork into a digital format, okay? Um, and to tell which items are from Cricut Access, you see there's that A. Um, and in the, in the case with, with cartridges, um, when you're going to do a search, you have to know the name of the cartridge in order to find what you're looking for. So um, it's sort of a backwards way of, of doing an image search. But I wanted you to see that um, each of these cartridges or image sets have a name. This one is called Spring Cottage and there's Spring Fever Holiday and Spring Fling. So in this case, this is what we, um, we are using for today's project. It's called Spring Holiday Cards. I love this. I love this cartridge or this image set because it has things from uh, Valentine's Day. It's got great little things for St. Patrick's Day and also spring and um, Easter. And you'll notice that each one of these images comes with, it's actually two layers. So you have the top layer and the bottom layer, but also it has things like a 3D uh, little treat boxes and envelopes and and what have you and so this is kind of an example there's 40 images total in this entire um, cartridge or in this entire image set so sometimes it's useful to go and searching for images by looking through the cartridges either through scrolling or if you know the exact name of the cartridge you can you can try that or you can try different words um like you know but like i did spring obviously there were i don't know 10 or so cartridges there that had the word spring in it and that's how i came up on those images but um this is a very useful technique and I think a lot of people overlook it. Uh, when they talk about Cricut Access having 75,000 images, this is, a lot of that has to do with all of the older images that they've converted, um, all the old cartridges that they've converted and put on um, as, as part of Cricut Access and obviously there's a lot of new stuff that's at, that's been added over time and they continue to add to that. So um, don't discount this type of search is my point. Okay, um, there's a lot to sort of mine in the image cartridge area of images. It's not just about searching through images, although that is, you know, the main source. If you're looking for something, that is the main source where you could type in uh, a word like spring and will bring up images associated with spring. But what I've noticed with this kind of an image search is you're going to get all the newer stuff and 
honestly, there's a treasure trove of of wonderful images that are um, that are there for the finding, for the looking. So try that next time you're going to look for images, okay? Um, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope I wasn't too wordy in my description about um, how Cricut Access works and how it used to work um, it, because it, it, it's, a, it's a transition. And so, you know, the folks at Cricut are sort of, um, they want to take their their old users, their OG users, I don't know what you want to call them, but they want they want to take them along for the ride of this new um, digital revolution that uh, that has become what it means to cricket, and so they don't want to to alienate people, and yet they want to move forward, and that's what they've done here. So thanks so much for coming by today. Do, if you're interested in this project, do check the description of this video. And also I'll do a blog post that will have this Cricut file. My Cricut files are always free and they're also available in Cricut Community. But if you, um, if you go to my blog, misreadedtotherescue.com, you'll also see links to them. Uh, as well. So there's an opportunity for you to to, ha to have a look at these, these adorable, adorable uh, cards. So that's it for today. My name is Rita and I run this YouTube channel website, Miss Rita to the Rescue. Um, if you are a subscriber, thank you. I really appreciate all the subscribers and I really do appreciate the the support and attention that you've given me. We've grown from having just a handful of people to almost 400 um, subscribers, which for me is just fabulous beyond the beyond. But I'm always looking for new people to educate about cricket. So if you aren't already a subscriber, would you consider being one? And if you are, could you like this video and perhaps share it with a friend um, or somebody or a group that you know that likes to craft with their Cricut or might, might just be an artist or what have you? Um, I would so appreciate that. So thanks very much for coming today. I do hope you have a marvelous day.